Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're here for Free, free Ren, Beyond Journey's End, Episode 18. So last episode, Sign sadly had to leave us as he went on his journey to find his gorilla warrior best friend, um, which it sucks, but I have no doubt that we'll, some, we'll see him again in some circumstance. Hopefully a happier one, but you never know. I have no idea if his friend is going to live or going to die. But I guess we will find that out whenever the time comes. For now, we're heading to Aushurst. We finally, we're, well, last episode, Farron uh, got sick and we had to take care of her. We had a bunch of good moments, uh, good good development between Farron and Stark when they had that argument with each other. And then we also had good development between Freerin and Farron when they also had those cute moments together. So lots of good stuff last episode overall. And now we are going to head to Aushurst and get this mage, ex this, well, I'm, I always forget what it's called. It's like the mage exam. I don't remember what it, exactly what it's called, but it's something along those lines. We're going to go get that done. We're going to go tackle that. It should be good. I'm excited. This arc's supposed to be really good. So once again, I always forget to do this. Um, but uh, Discord link and Patreon link are in the description below. Feel free to check those out at your own will. Discord, we talk about shows. Just talk about random shows. Doesn't really matter. We just have a good time in there. And the Patreon, you are free to check out of your own will. Now that that's out of the way, <laughs> without further ado, let's hop straight into Freer and Beyond Journey's End, episode 18. I have unironically, unironically had this OP on repeat since it came out. It is so good. This song is just so pretty. It fits this show perfectly. It is so good. Genuinely beautiful. Whoa, it's like on an island. That's cool. 29 years after the death of Himo the Hero in the Coal region located in the Northern Lands. Yeah, they still got a decent trek there, but it's right there and I did not know it was an island. That's cool. <laughs> mm, so it's like incredibly difficult to get first class. I think she thinks that you could get it. Dainsum. That's the monster we met uh, earlier this season where where it like makes you see visions of the people you love and then you have to kill them to kill it. Hmm. <laughs> now you made her feel old. <laughs> that was an eternity ago. That was it, like the beginning of this series. <laughs> what is that angle? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> now she's sulking for another reason. <laughs> what else does? To be fair, I think I. <laughs> <laughs> Farron has talent. Hmm. She's kept track. But that was only the first time. Hmm. Okay, this is a character from the OP, but first off, I want to talk about what she just said there. So, interesting. But that was also Freerin, probably in her younger days, if I had to guess, when she lost. Like, Qual, she lost. Like, the first time she fought Qual, they didn't technically lose, but to be fair, she was with the Heroes Party and they had to seal him, so I guess you could consider that a loss if you look at it that way. Um, and then, the second time she fought Qual, it was literally the easiest thing ever. She It took one attack to fully kill him. Although she gave the whole explanation of why it was so easy to kill him because of how the spells had developed over the years and things like that. And I think the other elf she was referencing, it's probably the elf from the OP. The one that is like walking is like the background changes in that really pretty scene in the OP. I have a feeling that's the elf she's referencing. And then I have no idea about the humans, but... That's, int that's intriguing that she brings that up that she's lost to people, but I feel like I couldn't see her losing to anybody right now. I, the only person I could see her losing to is an elf. Someone with as much experience and age and wisdom as she does. Well, um, I don't know if I'd say Freedom is the most wise person ever. <laughs> but I don't, I don't think she would lose to anyone but another elf. 
I just can't see that happening. So I guess we'll find out though. I think Farron definitely has the potential to be a first class mage. Farron is extremely strong as we've seen. She took out one of the most, a very powerful, I was going to say one of the most powerful demons, but we don't know if he was the most powerful. A very powerful demon at the castle where she was suppressing her mana and firing off like the super fast spell. She took him out. It's intri I'm, I'm intrigued to see where we go and as we see like their strength against other people and what seems like it's just going to be like a straight up tournament arc. <laughs> A free run tournament arc is not what I would have expected, but that's what it's seeming like it's gonna be. In front of Graf Granette's domain located in Northern Lands. Oh, so she's way behind us. What the hell? Now we're seeing more of these types. Interesting. So now that Ara's gone, more bandits are coming out of the woodworks because they're not terrified of a demon that's going to kill them now. So now they're going to start terrorizing people. Intriguing how there's never, like, truthfully peace because you're always dealing with one or one thing or the other. But this girl seems interesting. She's also very far behind us. So, like, very far. Graf Granats was, like, episode 14, and we've traveled a long distance since then. So, she's a little ways behind us, but I have a feeling she'll be included in this next arc. God damn! Oh, Kraft! Oh my god! Hey, man, Kraft was one of the heroes. You're not gonna take him out. Not at all. No way Kraft's gonna play a bigger part going forward. I kinda doubt that. What's so funny about Kraft is he's just showed up randomly throughout the series. <laughs> he showed up in episode 11 and then he was brought up in the Gorilla Warrior and Goatee Priest arc and now he's being brought up again. Like he just kinda shows up randomly throughout the arcs. Yuben. You have the eyes of a killer. Wow. He's just able to see that instantly. Oh, God. A tremendously skilled one. So she ripped up some other bandits. Jesus. Saving the lives. Wow. Okay. She's an intriguing character. So he took out those bandits to save their lives. Okay, that's interesting. Yep, I had a feeling. And off craft goes. Continental Magic Association Northern Branch. Is required to take the exam? Where do you get a fifth class? <laughs> Bruin really does not want to do this. <laughs> or travel by sea. <laughs> She's trying to convince her with snacks. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect way to convince Freerin. If you if you don't take this if you don't take it oh my god, if you don't take this exam, no snacks. We won't have enough money. <laughs> yeah, how do you even get fifth class certified? Oh, this guy maybe recognizes him. <laughs> Damn, so he definitely recognizes them. How old was that again? I forget how long ago she's- how old that emblem is at this point. Like, I, I know they told us when she got it at some point, but I can't remember, so... If you guys could remind me when exactly... She got that because I feel like I remember them referencing and like showing us a flashback of when she received that emblem and what the importance of it was. But I can't remember it now. So that's on me. Uh, but I'd appreciate it if you guys could let me know. So I, so I can remember what the importance is and why he um, seemed to recognize it. I'm sure they'll tell us why, but if not, then I'd appreciate it. Never mind. Looks like they're going to give us a flashback of it right now. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> She's so happy about it. Oh, so it's older than this group here. Even Aizen doesn't recognize it. How old is it? Aww. Isn't that enough? 
but he'll die so soon. That is so wild. Just in that one flashback, you can see the seriously stark... Co no pun intended. I'm, <laughs> I did not mean to... Okay, you know what? Ignore it. Stark contrast between Freerun from the past with that group and Freerun currently. The contrast between the two is so, like, otherworldly levels of different. It's insane. She it seriously doesn't even feel like the same person anymore. She has grown so much. It's crazy. Even if she still has her, like, stoic personality. Oh my god. <laughs> She's getting deja vu. Oh, And see? Like, they literally just proved my point of the contrast between how different she is from back then to now. That scene right there just proved my point. So good. All I was saying was, even if she still has her naturally stoic nature, she has changed a lot. That stoic nature is present a majority of the time, but there's a lot of moments where it's not anymore, which is already a huge step for a thousand-year-old being. So just, she she's grown a lot, that's all. Mmm. Okay. Damn. So third- That's still really good to get third class? That's really good. Injured or die? Yeah, Jesus. What does Stark do and passed out on that table? Wow. Train thoroughly. Oh, we're kind of going back to like old times where Friggin would cha train Farron. That's cute. I like to see it. Even though Farron and Farron is significantly stronger now. What? <laughs> Was that a birthday cake for Freerun? All of those goddamn candles on it. It's like they couldn't get a thousand plus, so they just stuck up as many as they could on there. <laughs> and then there's these two sleeping together. How did that even happen? She was on her own bed. How on earth did she get on Farron's bed? <laughs> Alright. We're here. Werbel. Denkin. Those two guys are both from the OP. Oh wow, I saw that statement up there. The, the organ- what did you say? The organization? The association will not intervene regardless of what happens to you. So if you die, you die. G good luck! <laughs> to become Imperial Mage, okay. Oh, see, I knew that was impressive. I, like, she's been downplaying it the, this whole time, but I, like, after Freerun said there's only 2,000 from ninth to first rank, I was like, damn, Farron getting third rank is seriously impressive. Ubel. Oh my god, she killed the guy who proctored it? Jesus. I've an experienced old mage. <laughs> I feel like I'm going into like a shonen battle arc. I feel like I'm going into a shonen battle arc where like the pr nobody knows the protagonist's strength and the protagonist is just going to get to go off on everybody. That's what I currently feel like I'm heading into. Like the shonen tournament arc where everybody thinks the protagonist is super weak and then they just take them all out. <laughs> I feel like that's what I'm heading into right now. <laughs> but it's Freerun's edition of that. So we'll have Farron, Freerun, and someone else on our team. Oh, they assigned the parties. Never mind. That bracelet seems really inconvenient. Let's see who's in Freerun's party. Yeah, that's a very interesting way to take the test here. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. These... Two are from the party, and uh, from the party, from the OP, and these are her two party members. <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> oh, oh God! Fairness with Ubel. Jesus Christ, that's gonna be. That's gonna be interesting. Hey, Farron's no. I did not get to read that. Farron's no bullshit girl though. If you try to kill her, she'll kill your ass too. She has no problem with that. <laughs> At the site of the first test in the Grobe Basin located in the northern lands. 
明日の日没までにシュテレの入ったカゴを所持してその時点で、oh、my god if we even got some troublemakers here 試験区域の外側に出たものその所属パーティー全員を oh god 区域を囲むようにチリ一つと寝られるわけないのにね it's not like we can get out they're listening while fighting 第一次試験を開始する So these two seem to know each other, at least have some type of past. Well, this should be fun. <laughs> oh god, did Freyren carry in? Oh no, Lavina won. Kane seems like a weirdly. Yeah, we can see that. Interesting how they got on the same team. But so we've got Lavine, Freeren, and then Kane, which Kane seems like a weirdly Japanese name mixed in with all the German names in the show. <laughs> hey, there's one right behind you. Never mind. Damn. They have a huge area to find one. And they're fighting. <laughs> Girl, we have just started. Oh god, here we go. Just <laughs> frearing in the background so fed up with her. <laughs> and compared to me. Woo! I wouldn't want to fight you! <laughs> so she can sense her strength because, I mean, it's like the guy said, just looking at her as like a talented old mage. But obviously, if Freerun unleashes her restriction on holding back her mana, then it would literally probably take up this, like, at least a good portion of the testing area. So they don't even know, they can't even begin to fathom the extent of her strength. <laughs> Wow, I sorry, I'm pausing a lot, but I like how that was the test. That was the test for Freyun to find out if she's strong enough to go off on her own and then check things out. If she's able to discern whether Freyun is strong or not. <laughs> That's interesting. I bet you if she would have said, uh, I could easily take you on, then she would have made her stay. I feel like that probably would have, that's probably what would have happened. <laughs> Yeah, she's had no choice. <laughs> she struggled to detect mana. Yeah. Oh my god, she got back in an instant. Oh god, well, here we go. Well, it's gone now. Oh. Well, that's from the OP. She barely caught the end of it. Oh god. What on earth? A bird that can fly faster than the speed of sound. So it's one of those situations where they argue all the time, but when it comes down to the most important of moments, they are extremely um, competent and they work together really well. Oh god, here we go. Uh, <laughs> it only works sometimes. <laughs> the little tree bushes they were holding up there. Oh my god, a complete. How did she get up in the tree there? Oh, Farron's gone. Wait, yeah, what? Oh, the barrier's stopping it, duh. Whoa! Holy. That almost killed her. Jesus Christ! What is this beast? What on earth is this beast? Damn! That is such cool looking magic. Well, that was definitely free room. Interesting. So are these beasts like flying around the place? Minya, they're... No, I don't. So Lavine is the one who comes in there and gets you to do it. And... Want me to kick you? <laughs> the person <laughs> who grows with praise. 
そんなんで飛べるってんならいくらでも優しくしてやるよじゃあ私のいいところ言って本当は臆病なくせに頑張っているところおー and then she still did it anyway yeah I'm sure you hate her I'm, I'm sure you hate Levine yeah I'm sure you aren't like actually the best of best friends who just argue all the time I'm sure you hate her、mm -hmm. that's the case、mm -hmm. A bear that literally keeps sound, or not sound, rain out is crazy. I don't know why I said sound. <laughs> great episode. Great, great episode. Great introduction to this new arc. I actually really like this group of people we have, and I'm sure we'll probably check in on how Farron's doing next episode if I had to guess. We'll see how she's doing with Ubel. That should be interesting because Ubel seems to have no problem killing people. So that'll be very intriguing to see how their group ends up working out. Maybe they'll work really, really well together. I have no idea. Of course, we've got all the other、uh, big characters that they mentioned that were all in the OP at some point. I'm very intrigued to see where this arc goes. I'm like very, very excited after this episode. This was good. This was a very, very good starting episode to the magic exam. Arc. So, like I said, we'll see how that goes. I don't think I have much to say here.、Uh, Lavin, Kane, a very interesting dynamic there. I don't know if it's、uh, just their best friends who argue all the time and fight. Like, they're, they're the type of best friends that say they don't like each other and argue all the time, but deep down they like care for each other more than anything. So, there's that. But then there's that line where she said, You're cute when you. I can't remember exactly what it was, but she called her cute, basically, which didn't sound very friendly. <laughs> so, I don't know about that, but obviously, we'll learn more about these characters as we continue along. In this arc. So I have no idea if this arc is gonna take the rest of the season. If it does, then we are in for quite the ride, and I am so, so ready for it. That is gonna wrap it up for my reaction to Free Rin Beyond Journey's End, episode 18. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you all have a good day.